Talisa's personality, she's energetic. She's she doesn't know she's sick. We try not to treat her like she's sick. Um, she loves people. She loves to play. We were transferred to UNC Chapel Hill, and that was truly a blessing because she wouldn't be here at all if we hadn't been at UNC. Her condition is called persistent cloaca. That is when the vagina and the rectum and the bladder system are all connected into one common channel. From UNC, Dr. Um, Ferguson called over and pretty much when we got here, they met us in the lobby, um, took us, took my wife up for an ultrasound and they did an amniocentesis. And then they called us a few days later, told us we was having a little girl. After seven ultrasounds, that we was having a boy. It's Dr. Menard and Dr. Uno, uh, the two doctors that I encountered with. And they just were really very nice. They explained um, what I was going to experience, uh, what to expect. And it just made me feel comfortable. I felt safe. I didn't feel confused about anything. Primary nurse also, Ariel uh, Lehman, and she was with us every day, you know, explaining this is what we do, this is what happens when she's given this medicine, this is what happens after this surgery. We had complications in the uh, delivery room, and I was so swollen they couldn't feel my spine. But everyone inside of there, they were really, really nice. All the anesthesiologists um, were really, really nice and patient. The most patient people I've ever met. That's what makes UNC special, is you have surgeons that go above and beyond surgery. They look at, if it was my child, this is what I would do. This is what I suggest for you. And that's what I appreciate about UNC. I come there for anything. Ronnie is um, Talisa's godmother. She is a nurse practitioner there, and she fell in love with Talisa, and she actually made this thick book, because um, we wouldn't have been able to remember all the conditions that she's had, all the blood transfusions she's had, 18 blood transfusions, um, all the medications, even doctor's operative reports. I mean, it's just special stuff like that that you take the time out to do for a parent. And that's what makes them so special. That's what makes UNC special, because I don't think any other hospital would have done that. They searched the national database. Um, there was no survivors. She was the first to survive under her circumstances. So I feel future's bright. And even when we got home, they prepared us for the same care that they gave us. And we were doing the same thing that they were doing, except for the um, Actual with needles, we did syringes, so we, they trained us how to change a G-tube. You know, they encouraged us when we said, oh, I don't feel like I can do it. They encouraged, yes, you can. You can do it. Still, things we have to do, she still has a G-tube button. Um, she still has the vesticostomy. We have to do in and out calves every day. We have to do anal dilations. Every day, she's on the feeding pump at night now, which was continuous 24-7. Um, she's eating by mouth, you know, so it's, it's changing. It's, for the, it's getting better. UNC is very organized, very um, safe, very friendly. I would recommend UNC to any family that um, had the same complications my daughter had or even less. It's just an excellent hospital.